Hi there, folks. You know, I've been hearing from a lot of people on the forum lately about they have a real tough time trying to get their pictures to fit on the forum when they do a post. This video here is intended to help you figure out how to do that. I'm going to take you step by step, assuming that you've already taken the picture on how to get that picture sized up properly so it fits on a forum. Hang on, let's get into that. Okay, here I am in the program that I use. This particular program is called Corel Paint Shop 2. And this particular program does a great job of handling all my photographic needs. Now, if you'll look down here, you'll see that I have selected a picture or two. And notice that they are today's date, which is the uh, 14th of the month of January. Got to move a little closer here. Okay, you can see that the 14th of January. And here is the pictures that I am going to go ahead and process. And the way I do that is I bring my cursor right over here. And you can see that it shows some information about my picture already right here. The size is way too large at uh, 300 or uh, 3648 pixels uh, that's just way too big that's going to come out uh, to be a huge picture if I was to just go ahead and put that up on a forum uh, that'd be a couple of megabytes really so I double click on that and it brings my picture up into another window there it is. There's the window showing the item that I want to work on. Now once I've got it here, I can do a whole lot of stuff with that picture. For instance, I can come up here, tell it to enhance the photo. I've got one step photo fix. I can click that, watch it change. Well, that didn't change it a whole lot because it was probably a pretty good picture to start with. I also have over here uh, effects and there's all kinds of things that I can do to that I'm going to go with films uh, filters and I have a filter selected which is warm earth tones right here and now look at the difference in the picture however I'm pretty happy with the original picture of the coin so what we're going to do is focus on resizing that I come up here that right there says image I click on that brings up a drop down box and right there it says resize so I come into my resize window I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit on that and right now it says 3648 pixels by 2736 now I've got these set up uh, so that if I change one the other is going to change as well so I just highlight that whole thing and type in 640 and now I look at 640 by 480 pixels I hit the OK on that and the picture is automatically resized to the uh, 640 by 480 if I go ahead and close that I come down here it says save changes sure I want to save the changes on that now if I come back down here that little box that opens up will say something entirely different now. What it says now when I come down here is that it is 640 by 480 pixels and it's only 89.33 kilos. That's uh, going to be the size of the photo that goes up when I go ahead and run that onto a forum. It's uh, only 89.33 kilobytes so let's go over here we're going to do this other one again you can see that it's way too big at uh, 3648 pixels by 2736 that is just not going to fit on a forum we go ahead and double click there go up to my work window and again you can see that I have the other side of the coin now I come back over here I click on image, I drop down to where it says resize, now that I've got the resize window open, 
I can come back in here and highlight that and again I'm going to type in 640 and that gives me 640 by 480 that's a great size for pictures I click OK on that I go up here to the very top I'm going to go ahead and close that it's going to say save those changes sure we're going to do that now when I come back down here and I put my cursor on that it's going to tell us that that picture is sized at 640 by 480 at 89.31 kilo so there we go that's 89.31 kilobytes so we're ready to go and take that on up to a forum I'm going to go ahead and close this work window and here I am looking at the forum well where am I going to put that on this particular forum well that's a good question so I'm going to go clear up to the top here I'm going to go to the home screen I'm going to come down here to where it talks about uh, what coins people find share your coin shooting stories and photos double click on that and I've got a thread going here about uh, show us your most awesome coins and as soon as I find that we'll go ahead in there and I'm going to go ahead here it is let's come together your best coin ever I'm going to double click on that now I'm into that particular thread okay that's the that's the uh, place I want to be and I'm going to go ahead and put a new post in here I'm going to hit reply because this is an existing thread and that's going to put me in a brand new message altogether. So I hit reply and it's going to take a moment for the reply window to open up. Once it does, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type up a little nonsense and uh, talk about how I found this coin some time ago. And I found this and I was hunting with my partner okay and then I'm going to sign off on that now I'll probably go back in later and edit it so that it's a little bit more flowery in terms of speech I come down here and here down here it says attach see that right there now I'm going to click on browse when I click on browse it's going to open up all the stuff I've got and I'm actually in the wrong place as far as what I want to do I'm going to click on pictures and I've got a lot of picture folders I am a photographer and fool I like taking pictures so I come down now and I need to find today's date and there it is over on the far side you can probably see where my cursor is over here I'm going to click on today's date bang that opens up the folder with all the pictures that are in it these are all pictures from another hunt that I did today so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to select the front of the coin I'm going to double click that and then I'm going to come back to my message window and you can see that in here is the ID for the actual photo that I'm going to be uploading but I want to upload more than one photo I come down here where it says more attachments I double click that and there's the next one that I would like to upload that's the back side of the coin that window came open automatically and I'm going to just go ahead and double click on the back side of that and it automatically populates that field I don't even have to hit browse it already did that for me so I put both sides of the coin on there I go ahead and I swing on down toward the bottom here so that I can get to where it says okay I'm ready to go ahead with my post now if I wanted to look at it before posting it I could come over here and click on preview but right now I'm going to go ahead and hit post 
bingo. It takes a little bit, the screen goes, and in a minute here, there's my coin. And you can see that my post is all up there. Here is the coin I found up in Divide while hunting with Hipster. There it is, there's my avatar over there on the left. Here's the coin, and if I slide down just a little bit, move down, there's the back side of the coin. So there you have it. There's the easy way to go ahead and resize photos so that you can put them, and notice that that fits this window just flat perfect. It just goes in there absolutely perfect as far as size is concerned. Looks good, and uh, I've got my post up, and everybody can see this coin that I found on a hunt some time ago when I was up and divide with Pipster. All right, that's all she wrote for now. Until later, y'all have good hunting out there, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.